Hi there, I'm Ben, and welcome to part 12 of my full platinum walkthrough for Elden Ring. We are at Roundtable Hold, this is where we were at the end of the last video, uh, and now we're going to do... A, there's a lot, of the, a lot of places we're going to in this video. We're going to clean up some things, we're going to get uh, a few items for our travels that we're going to be using later on. Uh, but first what we're going to do is go to Rani and go and see her. She's awake now, so if we're going to teleport back to uh, Rani's Rise... And we'll show her the dagger that we got in the previous video, the the one that we picked up um, near where the giant mimic was. It was just behind him. Uh, so we're just going to go and show her that. Well, she knows that we've got it. It just kind of moves the story on at this point. And she's going to give us something called the Carrion Inverted Statue, which in turn is going to lead us to another item, which uh, a death mark... Um, which we then give to Fia, who we leave, who, who we're going to. I'm stumbling all over the place. <laughs> who we are going to meet right near the end of the video. Anyway, go speak to uh, Rani. Uh, exhaust her dialogue. She's going to give you the uh, the item there, and then we're going to go and use that the inverted statue, and then we're going to go and use that eventually. But first, we're going to go and get some other things out of the way. So teleport back. Uh, to Rail Lucaria, so go to uh, where we fought the boss, and we're just going to head down there. Uh, so if you teleport back to Renala, here, you know where we are, it's where we fought. Uh, yeah, if you want to respec, of course, there's always the opportunity there as well. And we're going taking a, a shortcut uh, teleport, I did mention it when we were here in Rail Lucaria. And that's just going to mean we can miss a bit of traveling out that's all so yeah we will get the missable boss out of the way in this video and as well as getting one of the endings finished off but it's one of the endings that we don't need <laughs> so yeah it, it, it just happens at the same time so I'm going to use this teleport and it's going to take us to the eastern side of Leona Leona blah, blah, lakes <laughs> uh, to the church of vows uh, and here's Pope Tortoise. Uh, I'm sure you may have seen pictures and things like that if you're on Twitter of him. Uh, yeah, so if you speak to him, exhaust his dialogue, you can show him the Celestial Jew uh, that we've been picking up recently. And this, he'll sort of talk about that a bit. Um, and this, he'll tell you that it allows you to sort of get away with things, is the, the, way, the way to put it. He has some sorceries and incantations for sale. We don't need any of the, anything else from him. We don't actually need to be here. We just teleported here because... It's on the way, um, and that's where the teleport drops us off. So yeah, once you have a uh, Celestial Jew, if you've hit an NPC that you didn't want to hit and they've become aggroed, you can come here and atone, uh, and that's what this place is for. We're also going to get the Golden Sewing Needle and Tailoring Tools. Uh, you can give these to Bok next time you see him, which is actually at the end of this video. I don't give it to him at the end of the video, but um, it allows him to change boss armor basically. Uh, not anything I will ever use, but if you want into all that, there you go. So I've um, lit the grace outside the church, and I'm going to show you on the map where we're going. So we're heading up this road here. Uh, I've gone a bit far. We're actually, this is where we're going. We're going to the minor Erd tree, essentially. I'll keep showing you the map along the way, and obviously you're watching the video, you, you know where I'm going. So follow the road. We're kind of going north, what we're doing northeast at this point. And then when you get to the rocks and there's a, a, cra a road in the rocks off to the left here. So we're going to head straight north now. Uh, now there's going to be quite a few of these guys around. The, you should have no problem with these guys at this point. But there are archers. I was aware that there's an archer directly above me. Uh, but I didn't think he'd be able to see me yet. He usually doesn't. So be aware... Uh, but he's charging up at this point now, and I'm going to get one right in the... There we go. <laughs> in the face. Is it in the face? No, where is that? In the shoulder? Anyway, he's above. I wasn't expecting him to see me yet. I was hoping to get around this corner first. So yeah, use the trees as cover, and if you get underneath this statue, you'll be able to shoot him, no problem. So if you get behind and start looking back, he's on top of here. You should be able to reach him with Pebble if you're still using that. If not, you've always got a rock throw. And yeah, they do come and chase you down, the archers. Which is kind of good, really. Now, similar thing here as well. There's another archer to the uh, right of me now on the, on the cliff edge. But he won't start shooting until you come around the other side of this rock. He's over there.
is over there. Just keep moving forward. Keep the rocks on your side so he doesn't get you. I think he still does manage to... Does he manage to get me? Around this pillar. No, here, here he is. So he's going to yeah, hit the wall there. And then chuck some rocks his way. Yeah, that was terrible dodging. <laughs> still managed to get me. He was watching that and laughing, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, once you've hit him once, he will more than likely just come down here. Probably should have kept... Uh, Rock throw on because I can't actually reach him from here. And there we go. There is actually one more archer that I completely forgot about and run straight into him. <laughs> He's on the other side of the bridge we're about to take, you'll see. So don't do the mistake I did. Like I always say, I make the mistake so you don't have to. So all we're actually coming up for up here for is to fight fight. Can't forget there in the end. This is where we are at the moment. This bridge we're taking across here. Uh, fight the um, the Earth Tree Avatar up here and get to the Magic Lightning and Holy Shrouding Crack Tier. That's three separate cracked tiers. Uh, yeah, this was did not go well at all. He was uh, he was angry. <laughs> it must have been because I had killed all his friends. Um, yeah, don't do that. Yeah, grace point here. So we're getting these cracked tiers, and what they do, what this, the one we're after is the magic one, obviously, because we're using magic. Uh, it increases your magic strength for a while. Uh, it's actually quite, I think it's like three minutes. It's quite a long time. Um, but it's going to come in handy because we're going to use get another tier we're going to put in this flask, which will give us infinite magic usage for about, I think it's about 10, 15 seconds, something like that. So those two combined are the ones I kind of keep together. Uh, there is also a spell you can get that increases magic damage. Uh, so obviously look out for the big tortoise. When he jumps in the air, which he's about to do like that, just stay out the way because it does not hurt and it knocks you off the horse, potentially. So yeah, watch out for that. Uh, to get on the top of this one, by the way, you go up this cliff and, um, and jump on it. I'll show you where that is in a moment. Uh, yeah, there is a spell that can do that. It's in Rhea Lucaria. Uh, well, it's actually in a, a tunnel underneath Rhea Lucaria. I don't particularly care for the spell version of it. It does do quite a good buff, but you have to stay within a bubble. And because you're trying to move all the time, I always found that I would leave the bubble. <laughs> so yeah, I rely on the, the flask more than the uh, the spell bubble thing. That's where we are now. Uh, we're just heading round here, round here, and into the Erd Tree. So quite a long detour here, really. Another turtle thing up here, so if you want to um, duplicate your remembrances, you can. You'll know you're nearly here when you see some more of these guys. And the Erd tree, Erd tree is just through here. Now I'm actually going to start using um, Mimic Tier as well. And it nearly kills me doing it. It won't let you cast it and kill you. Just know that. it won't, You just won't, won't, won't be able to use it if you don't have enough HP yet. Because it does use HP as opposed to FP. So uh, if you can't use it yet, don't worry. Just keep upgrading your HP. And uh, you'll get there. And we will upgrade it. We'll start really upgrading Mimic Tier as well because... Uh, I've made sure that we're going to get more than enough um, ghost glove warts to do both. So I'm going to start using Mimics here. There is an Erd Tree avatar in front of me there, as you can see. So I cleared all the other guys out, and then look at that, look at the health. <laughs> Quickly top that back up. Uh, it may be worth uh, switching to uh, adding another Crimson tier and removing one of your Cerulean tiers. Um, if you are using Mimic Tear, because obviously you are going to need to use a full flask of Crimson every time you, you cast him, every time you use him. Uh, so be aware of that, and watch out for this attack here. Get behind the rocks quickly. <laughs> uh, it's actually not too bad to dodge. You just keep dodging sideways, and it will miss you for the majority. But Because I was going backwards at the same time, that's why it hit me. And uh, yeah, let Mimic Tear do his thing. Get smashed in the face a bit, and we'll uh, kill the Avatar. Simple enough. And any time now, there we go. We've got the three cracked tiers. So it's extra ma magic damage for us later on. Uh, I will add it now. Uh, I'm going to teleport back to the Church of Vows now. I'm going to head south this time. 
And we're going to pick up something else that's going to come in uh, quite handy, which is Flame Cleanse Me, which is an incantation. So I'm going to remove the HP one for now, temporarily boost magic attacks in the mixed physic. So it's at the moment it's, it's still bubble and um, and that one now. So follow the road again, and then once you get past these, then you can start heading south. So head straight east and then straight south, and you'll see a camp. Where is it? Off there in the distance. That's where we're heading. Uh, you're going to see a new enemy type. You may not have seen these guys yet. Uh, it's it's like a chariot. Um, it breathes fire and it charges at you. Try and get its attention from over here if you can while you're up on the, t on the cliff top. There's two easy ways of killing this thing, or these things. There's a few of them in the game. There's not many. Um, they shoot fire at you like that as well. Obviously it's not going to hit me from here. Uh, if You can do a plunge attack on top of the head, like the dragon from Dark Souls 3. Or the wyvern, actually. Ancient wyvern, isn't it? Um, or, if you're a sorcerer like we are you can use ambush shard because it's being driven by a guy in the back uh, if you if you charge his past you you'll see him so if you use ambush shard it just hits the guy in the back and uh, kills him pretty quickly and uh, got some fire blossom which we'll never use smashing some fire slugs along the way here but we're actually try aiming for that guy. I don't know why I'm killing these it's just a waste of time really isn't it come on get on with it I don't need smoldering butterflies. What the hell do I need that for? So yeah, Flame Cleanse Me is going to be an incantation we'll keep. Uh, we're, we're using it in one specific area, but you can keep it equipped after uh, if you want to. So this is where we are now. It removes all status effects, so poison and rot and things like that, instantly once you use it. Obviously, you use FP to, to use it. Uh, and you'll need to use a seal, so we have the, the red seal that we got right near the beginning of the game uh, to cast it, as opposed to the staff. The staff won't work, won't, use, won't work, so put it in your offhand and change it when you need it. And this is it here, Flame Cleanse Me, Incantation. Uh, we can't probably, I think I bring my stats up at this point, you probably can't use it now. Uh, you will need to put a few points in, I think it's Faith with this one, is it Faith, this one? Where do we go? Go across. Go down. No, go across. No, across. <laughs> there we go. There it is. Uh, yeah, faith. So I need another two points in faith before I can use it. Obviously, you can add those artificially with a talisman for a little bit, or you can just like proper hard upgrade them, which is what I will probably do uh, in the next video. I won't do it in this one, but in the next video, I'll probably put a couple of points in faith, and uh, then you can just use it whenever. You don't need to worry about switching talismans and things. We're going to have plenty of levels later on. I mean, we're pretty powerful at this point right we're not we're not overpowered or anything but you should not be struggling that's for sure hopefully <laughs> uh, right we're gonna head even further south so we're going a bit further east now and then f even further south and we're going to go into the tower so this is the we're going to use the item that Rani gave us the uh, the thing that looks a bit like a what they called egg timer <laughs> I was trying to go for the other name but we'll go with egg timer it's the upside down statue. And you're looking for the tower here. Uh, so you can go all the way to the top of this tower normally. Uh, there's a few bits up there and what have you, what have you. Uh, I think there's a great room up there. Not that I use them. Obviously I don't. I can't use them because I'm not sure you'll be able to. Uh, but we're going to flip it upside down and then go up. Well, it's actually down. It'll make sense in a minute. Uh, so yeah, go for the grace. I'm just going to reset. So uh, I've got everything fresh, and then we're going to use the item because I'll move towards this altar and uh, examine the pedestal, and you'll use this. I know it's not an egg timer; it just looks like one to me. The shape of it—it's an upside-down statue. Uh, and once the cutscene happens, you'll see that everything is now flipped upside down, uh, or it happens in the cutscene. So yeah, it, everything is upside down. I mean, it's pretty impressive this place. I've got to admit. Um, so yeah, you can go. We are actually going down to go up, if that makes sense. Uh, whereas you would normally be going up. So you can go up uh, first if you want and mess around up there. See what you can find. There's nothing of interest that we need up there, so uh, don't worry about it if you don't want to. 
yeah, so watch out. You're going to get an NPC appear here. She is a sorcerer, so just keep casting. She will disappear once her high, high life drops below uh, half. That's normal, don't worry. There, that's fine. She's going to disappear. I don't know why I'm going. The hands are back. Uh, try and get these hands from here so you can drop down safely. You've got a couple of them. You could probably get the, the soldier in the hand across the way. It's going to make life easier as well, to be honest. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, see, I'm still not bothering. <laughs> Another one here. And then we're going to drop down again. So, yeah, this is why we got rid of the hands, because you've got to drop down here. Yeah, and the, the na he's right there now. That's not where I wanted you. Look at that, the fountain's upside down. It's pretty damn impressive. Uh, is I'd actually, you know, kind of have a go through this place normally and then go upside down. It's You'll see, obviously, you'll notice the complete difference. Pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, so watch out for the sorcerer because she is over there. This is where she teleports to. I was hoping she wouldn't spot me, but she did. She's usually trying to shoot at the... Uh, the hand spiders that are over there. Mask of confidence. This raises, um, I th think it's arcane. Yeah, arcane. I want to say arcane. Yes, it raises arcane. <laughs> uh, yeah, we don't. Um, we're not using arcane, so that's fine. Yeah, so you can see she's usually shoots at the hands over there. So that's why I don't think she'd get me. But there you go. So finish her off, and you'll get the lucidity sorcery. That is a sorcery we'll never use, by the way. <laughs> it does the same as uh, Flame Cleanse Me, uh, what we've got, but for sleep. <laughs> so it's it's not anything we'll ever use. It sort of removes sleep. Okay. <laughs> got rid of the knights this time. Now, there are a few hands down here, so be ready for those. Let's turn the light on so we can see what's going on. Nope. Oh, come on. <laughs> so we're not actually gone to the namesake of this video yet, Deep Root Depths. <laughs> we are making our way, way there. We're actually getting something by coming through here uh, that we'll use at the end of Deep Root Depths. So don't worry, This is it might look a bit weird. Um, but we will get there once we've done this. So carefully along these chandeliers which is pretty awesome because this kind of upright chandeliers and now we're on the upside down section of the rafters item there the ladder that doesn't it's anything it's when you it's the other way round that ladder is used and you see there's a body hanging there there's an item if you fl if it's flipped the other way around whoa camera nearly pulled me over the edge then and then we're going to drop down onto the lift, and we are done for the tower. So we're going up, but we're going down at the same time. <laughs> you can only leave this lift one way, and it's the right way to go, so look for the little door. And then we'll go and open a door. I don't think we've ever done this in Dark Souls before. Opened an upside down door. I think that's why they put the cutscene in. But yeah, I'm going to skip that. But you, once you come back, you'll be back the right way around again. And we'll be uh, off to the tower. The second part of the tower. So it's at the grace point to refresh. Because you do have a boss fight, kind of, coming up. It's Godskin Noble. Uh, there's quite a few of these throughout the game. This is the, what, well, it's not politically correct, but he's the fat one. <laughs> They're like Ornstein and Smouth. There's a big one and there's a small one. Um, yeah, so as you walk down here, it doesn't actually activate, it doesn't trigger like a boss fight. There's no name on the bottom or anything like that. But he will appear in a moment and you will fight them later on. He is pretty simple. If you keep going backwards, this is his main attack. It's quite slow with the wind up. Uh, you can just dodge out the way of it. It travels pretty slowly as well. 
Uh, you will keep staggering him if you use uh, Rock Sling like I am. So yeah, you want to keep doing it because when he does this, he's about when he transforms. What he does is he starts roll. Yeah, there he transforms. He starts rolling around and it can one shot you quite easily. Um, but yeah, if you're able to stagger him while he's doing it, uh, yeah, the better. He'll stop him doing it. And then yeah, just sort of stand back. He gets to an invisible wall and can't chase you any further. If you're struggling with the fight, you don't actually need to do it. You can just ride past him uh, and go to the door at the far end. Just watch he doesn't kill you, obviously. Or maybe you do. I've never not killed him, but it makes sense that you wouldn't have to. Uh, you'll get his armor, Godskin Noble armor. But you can ride all the way past him anyway. Because it's not actually, it's just an enemy. He's not a boss, is he? So This is where we're heading. You can see the Erd tree there. We're getting closer. We actually get underneath the Erd tree by the end of this video. We take a little shortcut, a little teleport that takes us right to the end. Pretty much the end of the game. It's where the game ends, but it, yeah. <laughs> It's not a spoiler, it's just where the game ends, but we it's not the last area of the game, if that makes sense. It doesn't, I know, I'll shut up now. Right, to go through the door, uh, then we're going to go up to the top of this tower. I'm going to cut that out, because it's one of these uh, really, really long towers that takes forever. Really tall ones. And old Grace at the top, and this is then we're going to pick up what we came for, which is the Curse Mark of Death. Uh, this we're going to give to Fia uh, once we meet her at the end of the video again, the end of Deep Root Depths, that's the reason we're going there. And uh, yeah, it will allow, allow us to fight the hidden missable boss. So grab the curse mark, and then you'll also get the Stargazer Heirloom, which is a talisman, which, is in which increases your intelligence. It's not better than anything we have right now, because we're doing it with others. Or well, maybe, if you're taking too much damage, I suppose you could always switch uh, the intelligence one. Right, so click R3 on the map, uh, Go on, we're going underground again, uh, don't, yeah, look for that one, the Great Waterfall Basin, this is where we fought the gargoyles, so teleport here, I'm not going to try and say it again, the aqueduct, and then look for this coffin in the back, and uh, get in it, and away we go, there's quite a few, there's quite a lot of travelling in coffins, so I suppose it's a souls thing, isn't it? And we, we will finally, what, how long, nearly halfway through the video, we are finally in uh, the namesake, Deep Root Depths. But all that needed to be done, well, technically, we did get some flask of things that didn't need, but we will definitely use. Uh, right, so use uh, Sit at the Grace, obviously. Uh, this is optional if you don't want to fight him. He is quite tough, this uh, avatar. You can't bring a summon in to help you so he is going to be laser focused on you quite literally in some cases if he starts doing the uh the kind of laser attack and he can one shot you without much problem with his weapon that is so yeah he chances are he will do this i was trying to lock on uh and run away at the same time it didn't work so you can see you can dodge it quite easily and then his attack wall that was close will more than likely one shot you but if you keep your distance Obviously, he's really slow and he telegraphs his, uh, his attacks. So you can just kind of get out of the way. Yeah, when he does this, just get ready. And when they start shooting, dodge to the side. And they should all miss you. The main problem is that thing. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's got a little bit left. Oh, that definitely would have hurt. <laughs> Talk about not playing it safe. Uh, you'll get his weapon, the Staff of the Avatar. Now, like I said, if you, you're struggling with him, you don't need to fight him. You'll get extra runes, uh, and you can come up here. Uh, but it's not important. Ghost Glove 4, obviously that's nice if you want to start levelling up more ashes. Uh, now, these ants, there's lots of ants in this area, by the way. These ones have uh, a shield for a head, so hit them with Rock Sling first, and then switch to Ambush Shard, because you won't be able to go through penetrate their skull. Uh, using normal magic is just not worth it. Kill them quickly this way instead. Uh, and up here is an Ash of War, and that's it. So like I said, you don't need to come up here, so don't worry about killing him if you can't. Golden Land. May look familiar. It's the one he was just using.
I'm just going to sit back down here and refresh before we carry on. Yeah, so the main sort of enemy, I suppose, is ants in this place. Quick bit of leveling. I am putting in health, so uh, I can cast... I mean, I can use Mimic Tear anyway, but we'll put a bit in. I think I'll stop at 20 for now uh, and then go back to Intelligence so I can start using uh, Rinala's Full Moon. Because we are going to switch staff, staves, staff. <laughs> uh, once we've leveled up. Because we're going to get Somber Smithing Stone 7 in this video. So we'll be able to finally use the staff that we picked up a while back. Uh, it finally is better than the one we're using currently. It, we won't get the boost for gravity sorceries anymore. But we will get the boost for moon sorceries. So we will start leveling intelligence so we can get to 70 and start using Rinala's Full Moon. Which is... it's. It's fun, <laughs> more than anything. Uh, when you hit somebody with full moon, it they actually take more damage from magic for a while, so it's uh, it's quite a good opening spell. Lots of ants in here, so uh, three shots should kill an ant, and similar for you as well with them. So be go slowly, just pick them off one at a time. Don't go running in unless I mean if you're using melee, you kind of have to. <laughs> But uh, yeah, you're looking for the queens here, so when you kill a queen, you'll get a Newman's rune and a rune arc, and there are five queens in this area. There you go, Newman's rune. These are one-off, you can't farm them, but it's nice to have so many rune arcs. Plus you can crack the Newman's rune, it gives you 12,500 runes, so <laughs> it's not bad, not bad at all. Uh, so yeah, we'll get five of each in total here. So there are ants on the ceiling. Don't drop down here yet. Just kill everything from a distance. Lots of ants. You can see all the queens down there as well. If you hit the back bit, they pop in dying one. Uh, do watch out for that attack that the ants do. That does hurt quite a lot. So yeah, you'll get I've marked at the top there. You've got four of each come, incoming in this area. And now the reason we're in this particular nest is uh, we're getting a legendary incantation which we need for trophy, obviously. So I'm just throwing rocks all over the place, trying to lock onto a new one each time. Uh, and the others will take kind of damage from the side. There we go, We've got two kill, two queens there. See, I'm trying to stay back as well, because when they do get close to you, they do start yeah, doing that attack, and it is quite nasty. They won't reach you from back there, though. I don't know why I'm dodging. Too late. Far too late. Another Newman's Rune there. Somber Smithing Stone 6 incoming as well. It's just dropped down. Or, no, it's when we just dropped down. I'm, I'm looking if it's clear. I swear there was no ant in front of me as I'm looking around. And then I dropped down and, yeah, he is there, isn't he? There's a, <laughs> an ant right there. I don't know how I missed it. I knew there was the ones at the back. So watch out, not, no more drop down. I probably should have looked up as well, because I think one drops down. No? Yes, there. <laughs> I don't know where. He was obviously late to the party. So yeah, it's quite profitable coming through this cave. Because these actually pay out a decent amount, these ants as well. 500 apiece. Unfortunately, we can't keep coming through here getting the Newman's runes and what have you, because they are one-offs. Okay, finally we're clear. And this is Elden Stars, a legendary incantation. It's gold, tells you it's legendary. So all we need it for is um, a trophy. We're not going to use it. We're not using the incantations. Uh, there's a few flying ones around. You'll need to double rock throw these guys. They're quite annoying, the flying ones, to be honest. There's a few, there's more than a few. But uh, yeah, we're not going to do this area in its entirety. Uh, there's a whole section we're actually not going to go into because we don't need to. There's nothing there and there's some quite dangerous enemies. It's just uh, it's just not worth it, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, this is the, the, we're at the point now where we're just going to kind of not speed through, but you know, we're not going to go everywhere. If we're passing a certain something, yeah, of course, we'll go and have a look and pick some items up, but... If we don't need to go somewhere, we're not. That was a terrible jump. I nearly completely missed that branch. Uh, I 
think yeah this down here's holy grease which yeah <laughs> you'll probably never use but if you want it here it is and I'm going to go all the way up to the top and back onto uh, safe land smithing stone four at the top now you can bring in mimic tier here if you want you shouldn't need to but just watch out there are ants everywhere uh, and I'll show you that in a moment so there is a shortcut through these trees to get where we want to or we can go round so there's lots of flying ants here so this is the route we will take and you can also go this way but there are ants all stuck to the walls and things like that so do watch out if you go this way they're everywhere But we'll go this way. In theory, you could probably ride through here quite quickly and just miss them all because the items we're getting what is this? Warming Stone 3, uh, Golden Rune 6, Smithing Stone 4. Not anything particularly interesting. But yeah, you're going to have to knock them out of the sky. What, uh, cat, well, it's not really one at a time because when you do hit one, a couple drop. There you go. And yeah, watch out for the, uh, the spray attack. I don't know if the flying ones do it, because I usually kill them before they get a chance. But yeah, watch out in case they do. Obviously, rock sling you're just putting in work again. <laughs> Some people probably don't like the spell. Um, I just do. I like it. I do stop using it a bit. I use it a bit less towards the end of the game, but... It's just such a easy spell to use, and it just makes the game so much easier, honestly. Because look how far that thing is away. I'm nowhere near it. And then it dies from fall damage, which I wasn't expecting, to be honest. Yeah, so we just got these three items, and now we're going to head up to uh, Grace Point. There's a gold vault there. That's a number four. Grace point here. There's no point me bringing up the map yet. We don't have it. We're about to get it though. And we're going into like the fall, and this is like the, the main area now of uh, deep root depths. Finally, <laughs> yeah, a bit more in health. So stop at twenty, and then I'll start going through intelligence again. Right. So basilisks. If you know those from Dark Souls, all of them, um, they are here again. Can you tell it's made by the same people? <laughs> These guys should not pose a, pose a problem. You can just stay quite far away. Obviously, Rock Sling again. Uh, I think they're kind of broken drag. I'm not actually sure what they are. I haven't got close enough to one to find out. But uh, yeah, follow the water, the river. Watch out for... If you stick to the main bit here, you shouldn't find, it in, find any. But there are uh, basilisks around... I'll show you some in a moment, though, if you don't know what I'm talking about. So, Deep Depths, this is where we are now. It's not a very big area at all, really. I'm just going to head in here. There's a, an Ash of War. A nice quick one we can just grab in case you want to use it. So, yeah, I think they're... I don't know what they are. Gargoyles? Broken dragons? But they do breathe fire, and we kill them from a distance. There you go. Are these things here? What are they? Are they broken gargoyles? They look a bit like gargoyles, don't they? Oh, anyway. <laughs> Ash of War there. And then we're going to stick to the right here. And uh, loop around. Just to get a smithing stone 7, that's all. There are quite a few... Like, I could hear one. There he is. <laughs> now, don't worry. They they can't attack you as in, you know, hit you. So if they, they jump towards you, they're not going to do anything. Don't worry. But what does kill you very quickly, in fact, is that, that smoke they do. Uh, that's their attack so they'll try and trap you in that as long as you're not stood in it you won't take any uh, damage or build up from it should I say but once it does build up it will kill you instantly so stay out of it and stay away from them don't go up there go round the back of this building there's one there I could see yeah I knew one appeared behind me I could hear him 
Yeah, that's right. There's one off to the left as well. And then you want to go around the back. I'm looking around. I could hear one. <laughs> uh, look around the back of this place. There is a spirit spring. You can see there's a turtle in the back there. One of the mausoleums. This does not go well. Always check how much FP you've got before walking into some enemies. There's, I thought as soon as that happened, as soon as I saw that being sort of sprayed out towards me, I just thought I'm dead here. What an idiot. But no, luckily I managed to get away with it. So this whole area down here we're not doing. Um, down there there's loads of things. and Well, not loads, of, there's enemies all around there. There's the mausoleum if you want that. There's not too much, but there is some high-level um, smithing stones, but we are getting a Somber Smithing Stone 7 from up here, so we don't need to go down there and get it. Maybe use the uh, old torrent there to drop down that. That is quite a drop, but there's a Smithing Stone 7. There is a Ghost Glove Wart 7 down there as well. Uh, I will point it out in a moment. This is where we're going now. We're going across this ledge to get to uh, another grace. So just keep riding. There are some basilisks in this kind of forest bit. Just keep going. And you should see it in the distance. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the area. We've almost circled it. Apart from the bit off off to the side that I just showed you, we're not going to. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, there's a whole lot of graves here. You grab quite a few different items here. You've got a ghost glove wart in the tree here. To number five. Should have plenty of those by now. You've got golden runes, two times eight. You've got a nine. Uh, clarifying boluses, smithstone four. Uh, Nars Narset butterflies and all sorts. I think there's actually this human bone shell, but I didn't write them down because they're useless. <laughs> oh, they're not useless, they're just nothing I would ever use. Yeah, there. Now that cast, that coffin you can just see off to the left, by the way, is another teleport. It, it takes us to another area that we're not going to go to just yet. We're not going to use that teleport either, to be honest. Uh, we'll go a different way to get there. Now, we've got everything up here. If you just drop down here, get on Torrent and drop down here. There is a Ghost Glove Wart 6, which we do not have yet. So grab that. Now, if you use that Spirit Spring dead ahead, there is a, a boss, quite a tough one. Uh, but right next to where he is stood, there's a Ghost Glove Wart 7. We are going to go and get a safe Ghost Glove, Glo Ghost Glove Wart 7. And we'll get some more in the next video as well. Uh, but if you want to upgrade more things, then there is one next to there as well. Uh, yeah, get rid of this guy quickly. Just keep casting uh, Rock Sling towards him. And then once he gets knocked off the horse, go and finish him quickly. Because he is one of those uh, spirit types that will just teleport towards you. And he's quite nasty, to be honest. Mausoleum Knight, that's what he's called. Now we've got a whole bunch of these guys on the way up the tree. And that's what we're doing now. We're making our way up the tree. Obviously, we can kill him from a distance without a problem. You can see them perched all over the place. Yep, I would, you completely. I, was, I thought I pressed down on the D-pad. I was pressing down on the D-pad, but uh, still managed to use the wrong flask, which is fun. There is one up here. He sprays from left to right, so don't worry about him hitting you. Or oh, right, uh, yeah, well, right to left then. But as he's sat, that is quite easy to get rid of. And then we're going to jump onto this trunk or root. Right down at the bottom here is a smithing stone six. And then right over the top is the Prince of Death's staff, which is a weapon. It's a staff, obviously. Uh, not one we'll use, but you may prefer it. Who knows? It uh, enhances death sorceries. We don't use those. 
and uh, the staff were going to be have we no we haven't done it yet <laughs> no we're gonna do it soon uh the staff we're going to use is kind of the best all-rounder in the game i would say it's not the strongest uh the strongest one is found elsewhere but it's more expensive on your fp and i don't really care for the trade-off to be honest i just prefer to use the one we're going to start using so kill this guy from a distance what's he going to take three and then we'll drop back down onto the uh, route and carry on up. Watch out for the big jump there. There's a guy perched up there, you can see him. And then there's also two basilisks behind me on the route above. So don't go too far forward so you don't kind of trigger them. So they're up there, we'll go and get those now. Yeah, you don't need to worry about them knocking you off the edge because they can't attack you like that. They'll just do the... as long as they're not doing their uh, death poison cloud thing, you're fine. We're actually going to get that. It's, it's called Fear's Mist or something like that. Uh, we're going to get that. But it's only really used against uh, NPCs, so it's not particularly helpful. <laughs> anyway, we're going to jump across here now. Uh, we're going to go into go. We're going to go and get a grace point so we can teleport back to it. But that's our boss arena in there. Don't go in there just yet. Just uh, pop this so we can teleport back to it in a moment. Head down the same branch, route, whatever. <laughs> so we just came up and just carry on up past. Don't sit at it yet either, should I, I should just mention. Don't sit at the uh, the grace point because obviously you'll reset the area. You'll have to kill everything again. Just run up here. Now there's one behind me. You can't quite see him as I look up. But he's up there. Just keep running all the way to the back until you can't run anymore. Don't bother with the item just yet, just keep running and then stop here and you'll be safe. Now you can't see him, if you turn around you should be able to lock onto him. You can see how close his attack comes towards you. But uh, you should be alright from back here. And there he is, that's where he is. And then we're going to get that rune and we're going to drop down here. So be careful, nearly missed that, but there you go. <laughs> Only just made that. And we're going to go and get our Ghost Glove Wart 7 and our Somber Smithing Stone 7. So we are, we're getting up there. This is where we are at the moment. This is where the Grace Point is. Flying Ants. That one, you can see there's an ant just off to the right. He's not showing you uh, his head for a reason. So you could technically just leave this guy alone, but uh, I don't want to, and I make a complete mess of it. He's too far away for this spell to work properly. I mean, come on, it should be working by now. <laughs> there, there you go, and one for good luck. Ghost Glove Watch 7, that's what we came up here for. Well, one of the reasons. And then we're going to drop down, get a somber smithing stone, we're going to kill a bear. You don't need to kill the bear, it drops a, a talisman though. Probably one you'll never use, but they, <laughs> it's there if you want it. So carefully drop down here. Might need to crack the light out, can't see anything. There we go. Yeah, don't drop all the way down to the right, that's where the bear is. You can safely kill him from up here. But the main reason we are here is for this... Somber Smithing Stone 7. Now, like I said, you don't need... That was the wrong spell. You don't need to kill this bear and get the talisman that it drops. It's not a particularly helpful one. It's the Prince of Death's Cyst, uh, which greatly reduces the risk of death. <laughs> I mean, that sounds quite good. But, uh, no, the death uh, 
status effect. The one, you know, the black cloud that's been shot around by the uh, the lizards. It's that one. So it's it's very niche use, not something you'd keep on all the time. But we're going to get some runes because he's a rune bear. Rune bear. <laughs> So it's maybe, I mean, it's just kind of payback as well. If you've ever been killed by some of these, uh, yeah, they're just horrendous to fight one-on-one. -on -one. Relentless, these things. So it's a nice bit of payback as well, I suppose. It's a drop down to actually pick it up. You get 4,000 runes, so yeah, why not? Yeah, so there we go, talisman that we'll never use. That was fun. Uh, I'm not going to teleport. I was going to do... No, we're not going there just yet. I'm going to use triangle uh, and move across to go to round table. And we're going to level things up. Because we've got a couple of... Well, we've got one difficult fight and one that's not so bad. I say difficult. It's... It can be. It can go your way or it can't. It's... Yeah, <laughs> either way. Uh, so we'll get some more Smith and Stone Fives eventually and then we'll level that up as well. But what we're here to do is uh, level up our staff, our Regal Scepter that we can now use. And we'll also level up our Mimic Tier. So we do just have one Ghost Glove for 6 and 7. Don't worry, I, I know I have said don't use it if you just have one. Uh, if you want to upgrade the other one we'll be getting. Um... I'll get. We're going to get another six and seven in the next video, so don't worry about it. But make sure you do have more than you know four, or five, and all that. Make sure you got more than more than one of those. And we're going to switch. You can see it is slightly better. The scaling is better, uh, but it boosts full moon sorcery as opposed to gravity. That's the difference, really. And then it it is more powerful from now on as you upgrade it. Uh, and it is S scaling as well, of course. I don't have enough. So this is the, the spell we're going to go for. It does need 70 intelligence. And it takes up 3 slots as well. So I'm just going to crack uh, a few runes here. I think I get way more than I actually need. I couldn't remember. I think it was like 27 something I needed. So I just went over. It doesn't really matter. Two thousand over. That's fine. So yeah, we're back on that intelligence again until we get to seventy. Whether it's artificially, which will be most of the way, we're using the uh, the helmet we're using. Some of it will be upgraded though. Uh, yeah, we teleport back to the top here, and we're going to go and do two boss fights back to back. Now the first one is Fierce Champions. Uh, this one is actually the more difficult of the two, I would say personally. Um, and it's not that difficult, honestly. If it goes your way, it goes your way, and it's it's not that bad at all. Uh, but we'll just keep running in here towards here. You will see a teleport just in the distance there. Uh, hold triangle at this point, and you'll be able to tell as the, you see them come in. There we go. The fog comes in. Bring in your mimic tier or whatever you whoever you're using, and then get ready for the fight. So fear's champion, the first one here. You're gonna think, what the hell is he on about? Why is this so difficult? Um, when I start hitting it, where are we? No, not that. It doesn't have that much health. There we go. And again. And again. So there are actually three rounds to this one. And the third one can be a bit tricky. So yeah, I would... After every round... Calm down. After every <laughs> after every round, uh, use the Cerulean Tears to make sure you're ready for the next one. Uh, the next one is Roger. He's uh, obviously a sorcerer. He's fairly easy as well. Uh, just obviously um, be quick, just keep casting. You don't want your uh, Mimic Tier to take too much damage in rounds 1 and 2. I know he is getting hit there. You need him to survive for a while in 3. So in 3, there's going to be 3 different ones. There's going to be 2 champions. Wait, where are we? So as they come in, you will probably automatically lock onto the middle one. Move across to the one on the right. He has no shield and he's really easy to damage. Uh, so quickly kill him. He's one that's more than likely to come running at you as well. And then quickly switch to the other one, who is not the one with the hat. He's the other champion, who is even easier to kill. And then you're left with just Lionel the Lionhearted, who is pretty tough. Um, he, he doesn't go down too easily, and he rushes you. 
So you need to be quick when he his attention's not on you, when it's on your mimics here. Then uh, just keep casting. And get, yeah, you don't want him to cast because he does this annoying skull uh, death one that they chase you. So you don't have much uh, in the way of places you can run. And then he is, is oppressive as well. Luckily we got him down quickly. But he will just keep running after you and running after you. If that's the case, if it's just you and him, uh, switch to ambush shard and start using that in the gaps that you get. But he is quick and he has an epee as well, so his attacks are quick. So yeah, uh, that's the of the two. That I would say personally that's the more difficult one. The next fight is awesome though. <laughs> uh, a bit more intelligence now. And then we're going to go and speak to Fear and uh, move this thing on and gain access to this... Um, this fight so the most important thing here is when she asks you the question what are you doing here what are you going to do just say you want a hug that's all you want don't say that's right for you'll miss the trophy don't say that's right say you want to be held you'll go through the whole go through all of her dialogue at this point uh, and talk to her in secret again you'll of course you'll get a baldekin's blessing you'll also get a radiant baldekin's blessing which is a one-time use one. Uh, it's a bit better, but it doesn't do that. It doesn't have that negative thing, you know, where you hold a Baldekin's blessing and your health is lower, five percent lower. So don't worry about that. But once you, the dialogue is being repeated, keep talking to a secret and things like that. Once she's repeating herself, come to the Grace and sit down, and then go back and talk to her again. She will uh, embrace her, talk to her secret. It should change the dialogue. I'm going to skip it all. Just keep talking to her until she repeats again. She basically says, this is goodbye and, and things like that. That's how you know you're in the right track. And then again, we're going to go and sit at the grace point. I do use the Baldekin's Blessing at the wrong time here. Should have used it a bit sooner. But then, yeah, you can see she's not dead. She's just kind of sleeping. But yeah, I don't, I don't wait around and sit at the... Uh, the grace point which is what I should have done I sit at it too early I don't know why <laughs> don't ask I always do it the wrong way around uh, no we're not going through the teleport don't go through the teleport stop there you go we're going through here and the reason you can see my health drop slightly or I get it back should I say um, yeah because we're going to go into the boss fight now and this is going to be Lich Dragon Fortisax who is an awesome boss fight is serious really cool so I'm just going to skip the uh, dialogue there. Just go up to obviously interact and you'll, you'll go into her kind of dream. And uh, yeah, Lich Dragon Fortisax. This is a... Uh, it's quite an easy fight to be honest. From a distance. So yeah, bring in your Mimics here. And then just keep casting at the start here. He's going to do these uh, attacks and he has all this death mist. Most of it should miss you. He shouldn't get anywhere near you to be honest. Uh, his, obviously he's a dragon so he breathes fire. Just keep dodging to the side when he does that. Uh, and obviously, because he is a dragon, lock onto his head because you're going to do more damage and eventually knock him out. He'll do this. Luckily, he's not aiming at me. Uh, so, yeah, obviously, keep back. We are sorcerers, so you don't need to be near him. If you are extremely unlucky, he will do this, which is a huge swipe of like a lightning sword. You can dodge through it and then just keep going. There, we got the knockdown. He doesn't actually take too much damage because he's a bit his angle a bit his head was in the ground basically. And then thankfully he starts doing this again, which is his lightning charge. As long as you're not stood in one of the places where it's it is, just keep going. He's not gonna get you. Uh, there is the clouds that will happen, but just keep going. Don't go into them and uh, he'll be fine. Down him quite quickly. And there you go, Lich Dragon Fortisax, done. That's the missable boss out of the way. And you will get a remembrance, of course, and uh, you will teleport back out once done. There you go. Easy. Uh, and then you get the Mending uh, Rune of Death Prince. Um, this has to do with the uh, one of the endings, but it's not one of the ones we need for a trophy, so don't worry about it. But it's just part of what we were doing. Uh, yeah, you can go and collect that, and then if you go and uh, sit at the grace point once again, D will be back, because we gave him the armor. Do you remember in the, the previous video, we gave him the armor back, the twin armor. So he's going to kill Fia, you'll get her hood and, your ro and her robe. Now, you don't need to worry, uh, we don't need 
uh, Fia again. Uh, we don't need D again. Um, yeah, it's it's not important. As long as we killed Fortis Axe, that's the only thing that's important. So don't worry, that won't happen until you've done that. Uh, yeah, if you speak to him, go through his dialogue, exhaust it, and then go and sit back down again, he will, I think he kills himself, uh, and you're going to get the inseparable sword and all of the armor back in case you wanted to use it. Right, that was a lot going on there, wasn't it? So one final thing we're going to do is go through the teleport now, and this is going to take us to Leyendel, the royal capital. Leyendel. All these words I can't pronounce. Why can't they just be called, like, Bolton or something? <laughs> um, yeah, so what this is, you know, we're right underneath the Erd Tree at this point. This is uh, quite a late area. This is We're going to use this as a shortcut into this place when we need to get here. So just for now, we're just going to run in and uh, sit at a grace so we can teleport back to it later on. And uh, yeah, nice little uh, shortcut. We don't have to fight certain boss and things like that to get in here now. We can just uh, teleport in when we need to. So if when you sit at this great... Here's where we are, by the way. So yeah, we're <laughs> miles away from anywhere we've been before. Uh, so yeah, don't worry. We're going to teleport out of here and do some extra stuff in the next video. Uh, once you sit at this grace point, by the way, uh, Melania, Melania, one of the names that begins with M, will appear. <laughs> She'll say she's going to leave you. Don't worry, that's part of the story. Don't worry, it's it just happens when you get to this point. You'll all be up, still be able to upgrade, which is what I'm doing. Go for intelligence again, of course. Uh, a bit of mind as well. And uh, yeah, we're done. Right, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.